All right, so today I'm going to show you how I am blending some mystery wool from Knit Picks that is no longer being made and some flax. So I have divided this 100 grams in two. So here's the 50 grams and I have about seven grams of flax that I divided in half, maybe 13 grams, I can't remember now. I weighed it all out a few days ago. Um, so I've got it divided in half and here's one half with the 50 grams and the other half I've already stripped down so I can feed it into the drum carter. I have discovered this very old top um, is better painted on the drum than uh, fed in through the liquor. So what I'm going to do is a layer of wool, a layer of flax, a layer of wool, a layer of flax, back and forth. I'm going to end with a layer of wool, and then I'm going to pull them off as Rolex. And this is what they look like. So this is not all that blended so I'm going to strip it down and paint it back on the drum one time. So this is a really uneven bat and it would be a lot better if the bat was smooth and all the same but you know I don't always do things um, the way other people do so I'm gonna break the bat and then I'm gonna put this door stop in right here so it doesn't move and I will roll the roll-ups
this is the last draw log. And so I have to not pull this fiber off as far as I do from the other logs, legs, whatever you want to call them. They gotta still be in the teeth. I definitely want to get all of this off. And there we have the last one. This one has the least amount of fiber. It's kind of floppy. Well, these are pretty stiff because they have a lot on them. So, I'm not very good at making real lungs, but there you have. Nine. I should have done eight. Roll logs off the drum carter.